Come on in. Hi, Hi Come on in. Yes. Well, we got a little COVID in the plane, so just be extra, extra cautious. Is it okay if I take a seat? Absolutely. Wonderful. So as I said, Grant Williams with 3M Safety and Industrial Division. Okay. How are you doing today? Doing great. I'm glad you came out. I know we saw you spend there, well, what was that, like just a minute? But, yes, it was um, a very, very quick exchange. But yeah, I'm glad you're we, here. Yes, ma'am. Has the uh, holidays been treating you well? Did you get some time with family? Or? Well, we had a little COVID in the plant, and, um, you know, that's a little bit of a concern just mm -hmm. from a productivity standpoint. But, um, boy, business is booming. That, I'm glad yeah. to hear it, yes. I've been seeing that the... Uh, Hot tub industry is doing well for you. I'm sure you're happy about that. Yeah. I'm glad to hear it. Well, if it's okay with you, I'd like to go ahead and hop in and get started today. Okay. So, I just want to clarify today that we do have approximately 20 minutes mm -hmm. set apart for this meeting. Is that still okay with you? That's perfect. Wonderful. So, I do want to uh, ask as well, is there anyone else that needs to be included in this meeting for potential future decisions or anything to that extent? Um, to be honest, today I just kind of want to hear if you've got some solutions that'll work for our company. Mm -hmm. um, if I decide that I want to take it to the next step, mm -hmm. um, we're going to need to invite Lenita Kelly into the conversation. Okay. And she is our product designer. Um, and so, um, yeah, at the end of the meeting, if, uh, if I decide to go forward, maybe we can schedule some time with her. Most definitely. So I do want to just clarify what I have set up for us today, if that's okay with you. Mm -hmm. So up front, I'd just like to ask you a few questions, see where potential issues may be arising, where we can look at what's happening within the manufacturing division, how we can improve upon that. Okay. Moving forward, we can then talk about the product that we have here with us for 3M, how we can best assist you in finding ways to develop and improve that manufacturing efficiency and things okay. to that extent. Yeah. And then once we progress further, we can look at potentially set, setting up a second meeting if you so see fit with Lanita. Does that sound good for you? That sounds perfect. Wonderful. So have you ever worked with 3M before? I haven't. That's, okay. Yeah. Tell well, me a little bit about it. I'm excited you. to be here for the first time. <laughs> yeah. So we are an industry leader and we help several organizations nationwide in increasing their productivity, increasing their profitability, and making sure that their product is reliable. So okay. that's one of our biggest focuses. We're obviously very excited to start looking at what we can do for you at Spa Spectacular. Okay. So very eager for that. Leading into that, I'd actually like to ask you a first question if you're okay with that. Uh, what kind of led you to take this meeting? I mean, I know we had a very brief exchange, so I was just curious what incited you uh, taking this meeting today? Well, I'm interested in um, looking at some solutions. I'm kind of hypothesizing that we're um, we're getting some sealant issues um, okay. in our hot tubs. Wonderful. So that sealant is the issue that you're right, starting to that experience as a main problem? There could be leaks causing some returns. Okay, wonderful. So then we'll tie into that a little bit quickly. So okay. could you talk to me about how that manufacturing process is operating currently sure. with those adhesives? Sure. Well, um, so we have shifts that work in um, they, we have assembly lines, and basically mm -hmm. the first part of the assembly line is, um, you know, developing the mold, and then um, as that uh, as that comes in, they add all of the electrical parts, speakers, like there's high end mm -hmm. lights and things that we add. Um, once those are in place inside the spa, we actually seal where that connection is, so that once we put water in, there won't be any leakage. So that seal mm -hmm. is really important. We use silicone. Um, today and uh, you know I guess well and then um, once we use the silicone it has to, to actually cure for 24 hours so okay. we have a team of people that bring it to another location once it cures the next day um, after the 24 hours then they complete the assembly process yeah. so little concerned um, mm -hmm. you know silicones an adhesive and a sealer so um, we're not quite sure why it's not working 100% of the time. I completely understand you there. Uh, so you talked a little bit about the shifts that you're operating. Yeah. Could you let me know approximately how many shifts you're running right now with your different employees? Yeah, so we're running four shifts. Okay. Um, and um, overall, we've got maybe 100 employees, okay. not all working at shifts all the time, mm -hmm. but that's kind of in general. Um, yeah, so yeah, labor obviously is always a, an expense concern that we're Most definitely. In. Yeah. I'll get you there. 
so could you tell me a little bit about within that manufacturing process right now i know you said you're using that silicone yeah do you have energy and pressurized air within that manufacturing area um we we do yes thank you for that and then you talked about how once it's been thermoformed and the silicone sealant has been applied it's sent to a different location correct to that effect could you talk to me a little bit about the size of your assembly area and then your storage space um you know size hasn't really been an issue we do have a space you know we're located a little bit out of the city so it hasn't been a problem so i would say um as a as a point like warehouse space is really not an issue for us okay yeah yes ma'am so well i'm oh sorry i'm gonna add a little but i mean i i suppose if we um were to make it more efficient and um process them faster then we would need more space for increased capacity i was just kind of thinking about your question there that was very good thank you so when we talk about i've looked into spa spectaculars policies a little bit and we see that you do have a five-year warranty yeah that is so can you talk to me a little bit about the pros and cons that we're seeing with that five-year warranty right now yeah actually we think that's one of the best on the market Mm -hmm. um we think it's a really good warranty um the concern comes in is um is the returns and really overall it's not that much of our overall business it's only 0.002 percent of all the spas we sell which is a pretty small number about 205 spas a year but it's more than we want right like any quality issues you know our target's always zero quality issues um and you know when we do forecasting it's about 15 percent more than we'd like like to see most definitely and if you feel so comfortable would you let me know with those 205 spas that you said are being sent back here, yep. approximately how is that affecting your manufacturing time and the cost that we're looking at there? Oh, that's a really, really good question. Um, the cost is about $750 to mm-hmm. uh, do the warranty work. Um, the, you know, one, one good thing, it doesn't affect our production because we actually subcontract it out, so it goes to another location. Okay, glad to hear that. Yeah, that was a good question. Thank you. So with those 250 sent back, could you talk to me a little bit about how progressing forward with that increase in market and as we talked about earlier, that vastly growing increase in demand for the hot tub and jacuzzi market right now, yeah. how are those issues as far as the sealant and the warranties being sent back, how is that going to affect your business moving forward? Well, if we can fix this problem with the leakage and, mm-hmm. and eliminate the warranty um, returns, um, obviously, quality is our goal. I think it will just help in, in just our product image and um, you know what we stand for. So that would be huge to me. Wonderful. So uh, my final question for you today, I just want to clarify. So if we could manage to get that sealant fixed yep. and we're able to get that at a higher handling strength and give you a lot more time as far as not having to worry about subcontracting out those, okay, uh, that's, yeah, those that's issues, good what would that open up for you to be able to do other than i know obviously we're saving some costs there yeah are there any other things that that would open up for you um well it certainly would be a cost savings i'm really Mm -hmm. uh, excited about that um tell me a little bit about um the product and as we're going through it um if i think of something i'll think back to that question most definitely so as you just said we can start to dive in a little bit i do want to recap generally what you've told me so far just to make sure we're both on the same page here So right now, it seems like the biggest area of concern is that sealant. Uh Uh, We're looking at silicone right now. It has that 24-hour time period in which we're having to get it manufactured and sealed and everything like that. And that's creating a little bit of issues with the four shifts that you're operating. Understanding that, uh, moving forward, you're looking for a way to be able to keep that at an extreme minimum, as we're looking at, you said it was 0.002% warranty returns, which is approximately 205 spas a year. That's right. So we want to get those eliminated. Correct. Look for a way to get that effective and make sure that the process is efficient and clear-cut as possible. Does that sound about right? That is correct. Wonderful. So with that being said, I'd love to dive into what we at 3M have to offer you today. Okay. Let me pull this up for you really quickly. So... As I've stated, with 3M, what we want to look at today is the polyurethane. Okay. So the polyurethane reactive adhesive, what we're looking at is an adhesive that is specifically designed for wood and select plastics, 
such as the jacuzzis and spas made by Spa Spectacular. Okay. That's going to have a structural adhesive bond of greater than 1,000 PSI. So we're looking at a 1,000% increase from the typical handling strength of silicone. Okay. With that being said, that's going to open the door for you, extremely cut down on those warranty costs, and we're not having to worry as much about that .002%. We're trying to bring that down to zero. Okay. So what you're saying is the adhesive will be much stronger than the silicone. That's right. Yes. That will prevent leaking because is it your theory that the adhesive is coming undone on the silicone? Yes. Okay. So based on what you've told me, it sounds like silicone in and of itself is not necessarily the best adhesive. While it is a good sealant, the adhesive itself and the sealing is becoming somewhat problematic with the silicone. Okay. Especially with that 24-hour time period, we want to minimize that as much as possible. When we're looking at it for that long, we're going to start to see those leaks and those problems begin to arise, especially with the water testing and the long wear and tear as far as that five-year warranty looks. Okay. So when we look at that polyurethane, we're looking at an extremely less likely possibility of those warranties being set back. Mm -hmm. We're looking at an extremely stronger structural adhesive, and we're looking at a much lower manufacturing time there as it is just 60 seconds instead of 24 hours. Okay. So, you have my interest. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have any initial questions for me regarding the polyurethane? So when you're saying it's, um, it's now the cure time for the polyurethane, mm -hmm. okay. It takes 60, so it takes a minute to yes, process it. Yes, just time. 60 seconds. What is the 16 hour heated like? For? So, when you're in inserting the cartridge of polyurethane oh. into the gun, once it is heated up, it is able to I stay gotcha. heated for 16 hours. Okay, yes. so right now it takes 24 hours to cure it, and this is saying it'll do it in a minute. That so is you, correct. Do you, could you potentially um, finish a whole hot tub? within one day with a Most system. definitely. Okay. Most definitely. That is one of the great things about polyurethane, and I'd love to actually talk to you about how that transition from silicone to polyurethane would look. If that okay. sounds okay with you. It does. Wonderful. So when we go back here and we look at what it would look like transitioning from silicone to polyurethane. Again, that 24-hour time period that we're looking at for that silicone to reach handling strength, that's going to be shrunk down to 60 seconds. Now, obviously, that's going to present a lot of advantages for you as far as that manufacturing process time being cut down. Yeah. And we're looking at opening up a lot of possibilities and what you can do with that extra time. Additionally, that increased demand we're seeing in the market right now, yeah. you're going to be able to put a lot more units out per day. I like what you're saying. And that's saying. going to bring a lot of profitability in. That's so, another angle. I was focused on expenses and wasn't looking at capacity. That's a great point. Thank you. Thank you. So. Now, as we talked about earlier, you do have that separate storage facility and you are looking for ways to increase that manufacturing uh, capability and potential. So moving forward, if we did look at the polyurethane, we're opening up several new opportunities as far as transitioning some storage or inserting new assembly areas oh. due to the increased demand. Love it. So as we talked about earlier, the hot tub market is obviously very, very booming right now. Yes. We're looking at a great increase. I believe it's going to be up to $3.96 billion by 2026. Yep. So we're looking at great growth within the hot tub market and for you to be able to put out even more units per day with this new and improved sealant, we can look at transitioning into more assembly space. How does that's, that sound to you? That's, you piqued my interest with this for sure. Very glad to hear yeah. that. Do you have any initial questions for me now regarding polyurethane, the possibility of transitioning? into a new assembly area, anything to that effect? Nothing on that. I mean, just looking on the outside, we've never worked with 3M. Still a little nervous about that, but mm -hmm. it is a good company. Um, I'm right from the beginning, I'm thinking price. So let's, mm -hmm. let's go to that next step. That. Let's go ahead and look at price right now. So I understand based on the industry averages, silicone is looking at about six to eight dollars per cartridge right now. Yeah, we're at 750. You know, 750, yeah. okay. So when we look at the pricing of the polyurethane, it is $30 a cartridge. There's obviously five cartridges in a case, so we're looking at about $150 per case. Okay. Now I do understand that can initially seem a little overbearing. It's a little shock at first, I completely yeah. understand that. I do want to clarify, as we talked about earlier, 
the opportunities that were opening up when increasing the ability for you to be efficient within that manufacturing time when we're looking at a one thousand percent increase in adhesive strength you're going to be looking at nearly null and void warranty returns for the year those 205 spas a year are going to be vastly cut down okay additionally we're going to be looking at a large increase in your unit output per day with that being said we're going to be looking at a very high profitability yeah you said we're looking at about 750 dollars a unit per warranty return right well if we're cutting off just 50 of those 205 a year we're already looking at a profitability increase yeah so with that being said the price does i get seem a little overbearing initially right if we look at it a little more long term it starts to make a little bit more sense okay does that initial answer some of your initial concerns regarding that pricing i think so yeah yeah i mean it's the hard part's convincing the workers right it's a new they've always used silicone um yeah so so i i do want to talk to you about that regard oh with uh convincing the workers so there is gloves and eyewear that would need to be required with this yeah that being said there are only 40 a pair for the gloves on a six month life so i went ahead and transitioned that to a one-year period for you and then the eyewear 15 a pair on a six month life again 30 for a one-year period now that again we're looking at a null cost when compared to the warranty decreases there we're looking at one hot tub less and we're already making a profitability there yeah as far as the workers concern goes i'd love to actually talk to you about the ease of application so we're looking at the preheater and the applicator that we can utilize here the applicator we're using with the polyurethane very similar to a hot glue gun that consumer crafts are used for so we're looking at just a very simple insert the polyurethane it waits in the preheater at first right it'll heat it up for you get it to that time period of that 16 hour heated life we talked about earlier then put it into that applicator we're able to put it onto the surface make the adhesion and then again just 60 seconds and then you're good to go those look expensive those are actually coming with the polyurethane so we are looking uh with the situation we're in right now as far as if you're interested in that polyurethane the preheater and applicator would be coming with that okay so those are things that you would probably want one per station uh you could honestly have one station rolling with that 60 second adhesive time just for how quickly that is moving okay and the adhesive time is going to take to apply make that attachment and thus forth okay do you have any further questions about that um no i mean as far like if you would you provide training or how does that work you know if we decide to go with you i'm still a little worried about the um employees since they've always done silicone it's hard for them to change you know i mean they've been with us since we started very loyal to us um what kind of support would we get as far as so i know i personally could definitely help in supporting you and implementing these okay i'd actually love to be able to come down and just show how easy this product is to use for you one day okay um, with that moving forward if you are so interested i think we've talked about the product in depth enough and you seem like you're interested just want to make sure the workers are on board right i would definitely be happy to come in one day with you and we could look at how i can assist in showing these workers how easy this is to implement and provide as far as increasing that manufacturing yeah. efficiency yeah definitely interested you've Mm -hmm. done a good job stating your case um you know as i said in the beginning uh, meeting with lenita um, is is the next step and she is Mm -hmm. really um well she's a product designer she's going to be starting to ask the technical questions Mm -hmm. and um she's going to want all of the spec sheets and health and safety guidelines and all of that kind of thing um, she may want somebody that has more of a scientific background. Is that is that an option that you could offer? So yeah, I can definitely look for one of my colleagues to come along with me and provide okay. a scientific background there just to assist with more of the technical aspect of it. Okay. I can definitely reach out and get one of my colleagues to attend with me. We can start looking into ways that she can be reassured from a scientific standpoint. I can assist in showing the ease in, in applicating this process and uh-huh. product and the manufacturing process. And we can just answer all those concerns there. Does okay. that sound okay with you? That does. That does. Wonderful. Well, I'm definitely interested. You've you've sold me on the idea. <laughs> 
Now you have to sell Lenita. Yes. Um, I'd love to set up a follow-up meeting with her if you're open for that. I am very open for Glad that. Glad to hear that. Could you tell me a little bit about what your schedule is looking like when you're available? Um, I'm going to have to double check with Lenita, mm -hmm. but uh, most likely 